Hi, Lisa. Welcome. Hi. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. Um, I have a, a speech prepared to read regarding um, the test to stay program and how unconstitutional it is. But I need to address something else, not just to you as the board, um, but to parents and grandparents and taxpayers in our community. Uh, still wrapping my brain around this a little bit, but um, yesterday I heard something um, and I was stunned. And today I am equally stunned and a little bit upset well, not a little bit, a lot of bit upset, furious. I, don't, I would even use that word, but um, I want to talk to about the fact that, and I know this is going on nationwide, so it is not just for your, for this board, but our community needs to understand that the agenda that is being pushed through our schools is um, just my opinion, but somewhat nefarious when it comes to some of the um, activities. So let's talk about fury, furries. <laughs> It was addressed by a child uh, a couple months ago that they are put in an environment where there are kids that are that identify as a furry, a cat or a dog, whatever. And so yesterday I heard that at least one of our schools in our town has a in one of the unisex bathrooms a litter box for the kids that identify as cats. And um, I am really disturbed by that. And I, I will do some more investigation on that. I know it's going on nationwide. I know it is. It's part of the agenda that's being pushed. I don't, I don't even want to understand it. But I think that people need to be aware of it because I am really upset as a parent that my child is put in an environment like that. And, um, you know, I'm all for creativity and imagination. But when someone lives in a fantasy world and expects other people to go along with it, I have a problem with that. So.